Hello, this is Netta and welcome to my channel. I am here with a requested video of a tour of my vanity. You guys, I'll be going over the items I use to put together my vanity as well as share with you where I purchased my vanity so you can decide if this something that you would like to have for your beauty room bedroom or whatever room you like to woo sight in so let's get started okay you guys one thing about ordering online you never know what you're going to get or how things will pair together you guys i purchased the vanity table along with the cheetah print chair and you guys when i got the i, I got the vanity table first and i purchased this off of amazon.com and i would definitely put the link below um where i purchased this from that way you can get an idea of um how much it cost and where you can purchase it from if you choose to buy one i didn't know how tall it was going to be and you guys when i got it it was low and i'm like okay that's fine <clears throat> when i get the chair i really can see you know how it would fit okay then this chair arrived. You guys, I absolutely love this chair. But the only issue is, this table was too low for this chair. It left me no room for my thighs. Okay, I got big thighs, you guys, but my daughter couldn't even sit, at this, this chair, <laughs> sit in this chair at the vanity. So, what I decided to do next was, picked up some table risers i went to walmart didn't see any went to other stores went to lowe's they didn't have any so i had to go back to amazon.com and pick up some table risers all right so then i sat in my chair and i realized y'all y'all see it's in the way you know if we tr someone trying to walk through this area they would not get through so we had an easy fix and voila we decided on a desk chair you guys that way i can slide this stool out the way and leave a way for easy passage so i think this way works better so if you plan on getting this vanity just keep in mind that you may need some more thigh room even though i still use this stool you guys I still had to use my um, table risers because otherwise even the stool would have been too high for this vanity. So keep in mind when you purchase this vanity, this vanity is very low. Okay, let's jump right in and talk about the star of the show, um, the lighting. You guys, lighting is everything we're putting together this vanity. You guys, I've tried everything and I said, you know what? Let me stop being cheap and do it the right way so I can get the look that I always dreamed of having. So I picked up this lighting and it is the Hollywood. As you see, it's the Hollywood Vanity Girl. It's the official one, you guys, because that's what I wanted. And it comes with, I think it's 12 lights. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I don't know. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 look like 13 lights you guys all this come together um this mirror right here comes with a base and the little table that i used to use used to sit on the base but i know the base took up too much room on the actual table this mirror was hard to mount on the wall so you definitely have to get a professional to mount it you've paid the price you guys you don't want to damage it and you want to make sure it won't later fall off the wall. So that's why I had to hire someone to put it up. But the vanity itself was not hard to um, put on. It came with the, um, everything was put together. The only thing I had to do was attach the legs and put the um, knobs on the drawers. That was basically it. And it came with its own let's see what they call this an a wrench i don't know what it's called but it came with its own key to um to tighten up the screws so i thought it was very you know very simple to put together it took no more than about 
what 20 minutes to put this together now that mirror was a different story okay here are the items that I have on my vanity you guys know how I feel about having things accessible um, that way I don't have to get up and run across the room pick this and that up just so I can finish beating my face or you know just getting ready for work so we're just going to start from left to right um, this is basically three pieces you guys um, I got stackable it's acrylic um, drawers that I got from Amazon.com and I would try my best to link everything that I purchased that I can remember I purchased down in the description box so this is one set this is another set and this is a set that this set came with the top so but I will tell you this they do not stack perfectly so I had to use let me show you guys what I had to use to kind of put it together. I had to use this E6000 glue to kind of keep everything together. That way, when I'm opening the drawer, things won't tip over. So, that's just my tidbit for you guys if you decide to, you know, do it this way. And on top, I've decided to put my chapstick right here. Because y'all know I have to apply my chapstick before, you know, putting my makeup on. And then I just put my different foundations at, top, at the top, along with my concealers. I have my different kind of um, foundations. Depends on the event I have to go to. A fancy event, of course, I was, you know, use the most expensive. But every day, I would use either the L'Oreal, um, the L'Oreal um, Infallible, or the L'Oreal True Match, or the Maybelline um, Matte Poreless. So... And then I have this Bare Minerals, you guys. I don't really use this. This is like when I first started, you know, trying to make my makeup. But it got to the point it started looking too cakey. And, of course, I have my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder up here because it doesn't fit in my drawers. Usually when I put on my makeup, I would just grab a drawer at a time. And when I'm working on my brows... This is my brow drawer, you guys, and I just kind of put it in front of me, work on it. And when I'm finished, I'll just <laughs> put it back. And then I work on my eyeshadows. I'll pull this down. This is all of my eyeshadow primers. Y'all see the samples. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all better go on board. Get them samples. They're free. And then I have my NYX powders and my MAC block powder and this is more of an over, um, all over face and this is what I use to contour with the deep dark but I need to find another um product to contour with alright and next is my other setting powders that I use with my foundations to kind of set my powder and I use of course I use a set um, the Sasha to set my highlight powder then what is this this is overflow chapsticks in this next section. Then I have my lip liners. I only have three, you guys, because I really don't line my lips that much. Then, of course, my color pop is in the next section. All my lip gloss. Okay, and this is something I just threw in there. <laughs> then I have my lipsticks in here. And then I have stuff I decide if I want to pamper myself. Y'all know I have the 3D white strips. Then I have the um, glycolic acid um, um, pads and the mask and the um, legs and foot soaps. I put everything that I want to pamper myself in this bottom drawer. Okay, the next thing um, I have here is this beautiful um, magnifying um, mirror that my daughter purchased for me for Christmas. Because, of course, you know, everybody heard about this vanity idea for months. So, if you won't give me anything during Christmas time, you would have to give me something for my vanity. Yes. So, um, we was in Ross one day and she said, Mama, what you want for? I said, oh, I like that right there. So, she grabbed it for me. So, I love her for that. And also, if y'all pay attention to my Dollar Tree haul, I picked these up. they magnetic um containers. You can put anything in them. And what I decide to do is put like my ponytail holders in there. And then, then I want to put my hair back while I'm putting on makeup. And they just stick on the side right here. I mean, you can stick them just basically anywhere you want to. But, you know, it's not, it don't make it hot. But from the light bulbs, 
but my paranoid stuff I just put it to the side but it does stick on the side as well so that's where I keep those magnetic um, containers okay, the next thing I picked up was an acrylic season holder as you see it has like little steps on it that way I can have everything in a neutral spot and I can have the steps so I can see everything um, as you see the um, the bottom um, level has all my um well moisturizer my primers my setting sprays and things I call primers hint hint monostat and Nivea men and then on the next step you guys I pick these little pumps up from Walmart in the bath section because I had a lot of these bottles of this and then I had a lot of those ponds uh, facial moisturizer little containers and I don't want to have a little bit just stored you know a whole bunch stored in my drawers taking up space so what I did was just start pouring you know I poured my Marcella cleansing water in here and I just come um, have about what five six jars of Pond's facial uh, moisturizer right there so I thought it was a pretty good idea Okay, I picked up this timer from Walmart, you guys. I think it costs nothing but like three bucks. And basically, I have this here because sometimes I challenge myself because I'm trying to get faster and applying my makeup. I haven't made it there yet, but at least I'm not still at an hour and a half. So, um, but I'm doing a little bit better. So, anytime I'm challenged or have little challenges, I will have this on hand to keep up with time, you know, instead of using my phone. Then let's move to the back row. Y'all know, y'all familiar with these. Um, little um, containers. I got these from Dollar Tree and they work perfectly. I have one for my facial brushes as well as for my eye and eyebrow brushes over here. Then y'all remember I picked this up. This little container. I said I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to find something perfect for it. And what I do is just simply put my um, cotton pads in there. Then I just, you know, do like this for my um Garnier Marcella cleansing water and it's all good okay you guys on the mirror I just mount the you know how you have the car mount for your phone I simply mount this that way I can look at Nitra B and whoever else apply their makeup and I can try to do the same thing or follow along or I can put my camera on there and videotape um, if I want to do makeup Monday that's right you guys it is makeup Monday Happy Maker Monday! I'm so late. Anyway, but I thought there was a perfect, you know, place to put it. And it served its purpose. And also, I just put my family picture back there. That way, it looks like I'm looking at the camera. But really, you guys, I'm looking at my family. Because that's what's all about, my family. Alright, down here, I have this little Bro um, Brookstone bedroom speaker. And this does nature sounds. As well as the Bluetooth, um, your music devices. So, you know, I'm always, you know, for a woosa moment. Okay, and this is a little diamond I just picked up from Amazon.com. So, I thought that was pretty cute because I love diamonds. Yes, I do. Okay, and then I picked this up from Dollar Tree. Y'all remember that haul? Well, I picked up both of these from Dollar Tree. The coastal Coaster as well as the uh, mug. I said I can sip my tea. You know where I'm trying to beat my face. And then um, I picked up this candle holder from Bath and Body Works. And I, what I did was basically use that E6000 glue. And um, combine it with the candle holder at the bottom. There you go. Voila. A whole new candle holder you guys. Inside my vanity drawers. And you guys these vanity drawers are very deep and very spacious. I will let you know that. Um, I picked up these um, plastic holders from Dollar Tree. And I thought it was a perfect place to line up my eyeshadows. Of course, I have my Ulta 33-piece um, complete face set. And I have my Frost and Smoke Carity um, professional eyeshadow palettes. My Morphe in 12S. I'm going to put all this back neatly in a minute. And of course, Al May. I already opened this. So. Then Elf. These are the kind of things I kind of started off with. But, you know, I really don't use anymore. But, hey. 
Um, then my e.l.f. Um, blush palette. Then my Too Faced Chocolate Bum Bum Eyeshadow Palette Revealed from Coastal Scents. Lorac. Then I have, what else I have? Um, it, um, my NYX Dream On Palette and my Physician's Formula. Okay, next I have my Scott um, holder, you know, Scott wet towelettes um, holder. And I basically put my Garnier Skin Active um, towelettes in there. And I just, you know, store it there until, oh, I'm almost out of it. So I will have to replace it with a new pack. Then I have my placemat, you guys, in here. You guys, what I do with this placemat, when I'm ready to put on my makeup, because y'all know how messy putting powder and stuff on, and I want to, you know, I want my vanity to last, I will basically just sit it here, you know, lift this up a little bit, and just scoot this right on under there. And then I'll just sit right here and apply my makeup like that. That way I won't, you know, mess up too bad. <laughs> So, yeah, but that's, that's my reason for this placemat here. Then, of course, you know, I told you guys, I love these multi-surface wipes, lingettes that I got from Dollar Tree. Every time I finish um, beating my face or I just want to wipe things up a little bit, I just take out a towelette and wipe things down. Just have things handy, you guys. On to the next drawer. Okay, my next drawer, basically, I just have overflow of makeup. Well, mainly overflow. Um, usually when I find shades I like and I got coupons, I will go ahead and stock up because I'd rather have it when I need it than not have it when I need it. Okay, so y'all know I tried the Maybelline BB Cream. It's okay. I'm going to see how it work out in the summertime, but in the wintertime, it didn't. Mm -mm, I don't know. Mm -mm. Um, but y'all know I like the... Um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I want to make sure I stock up on that. Especially, you know, as cheap as it is. Um, well, I ain't going to say necessarily cheap, cheap. But it's cheaper than that Becca up there. And then I have an extra one of the L'Oreal Infallible. Then I have my bronzers. And my hot, my sleek highlighters. My beauty blending sponges. And my eyeliner and my mascara that I'm currently use, using. I keep it's over here. And these little containers right here also came from Dollar Tree. And they're usually in the stationery. Um, I also, I thought this was pretty good. And it fit perfectly. Perfectly. I would have had, um, I should have got an extra one. But I'm kind of glad I didn't, for real. Because I wouldn't have no way to store the rest of my Gandhi wipes. I told you guys, if it's something I really, really like, I'm keeping it back here in my bedroom. In my bedroom. So, yeah, this is how I have things stored here. The next thing I picked up from my vanity area was this trash can. You guys, I picked this up from Walmart. I wanted something where all I have to do is, you know, tap it and, you know, you lift it up. Because sometimes your hands be messing with makeup. You don't want to touch anything. So, I thought, you know, having the lid to open like that would be perfect for my vanity area. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my vanity. Hope you got some idea of what to expect when you purchase this vanity and little things you may have to tweak on once you get it, such as the table risers, the chairs and things like that and mounting it on the wall. But I do say it was all worth it because this is everything I dreamed of and more. So now that you've seen the tour, <laughs> of my vanity I can do more you know face beat videos if you didn't get a chance to see the tour of my remodeled bedroom aka Avenetta Dice please click the link below in the description box and it will definitely take you to that video so y'all please like this video subscribe like and comment down the middle and let me know what you like best about this vanity or is there anything <laughs> about this vanity that you had no clue about because you guys when I got it I was happy and sad at the same time because of the little tweaks and things I had to make but all in all it came out wonderful so 
Talk to you guys later. And hopefully I can bring more makeup videos to you guys. Love you guys. Smooches!